Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you back to your favorite series on the internet, Guess the Elo. Because of various chess tournaments in the world, including the one that I was playing, we did not get an episode in over a month, but we are back and we are better than ever. And before we jump into the games today, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Babbel. Babbel is an incredible comprehensive language learning tool. And chess is probably the most global game on earth, so I figured we were a perfect match. I learned English and Russian from my family and I learned Spanish in school, but my entire life I have loved learning languages. And Babbel makes it so easy. The lessons on the app are made by over 150 language experts and the app has absolutely everything. They use real life dialogue and not some AI generated nonsense. They're short interactive classes that last 10 to 15 minutes designed to keep your attention better. They have games that you can learn from and practice the language. They have podcasts for you to listen to in the language that you're studying. And you can even take your practice further with live classes. And if you're a student, they say that just 15 hours of Babbel practice is equivalent to an entire semester of school, which either means that Babbel is incredible or school just sucks. Now, Babbel has a lot of free content, but the offer that they're extending to you today is that if you sign up for six months, they will give you another six months absolutely free. All you gotta do is check the link in the description. It's that easy, and you'll get learning today. Shout out to Babbel for sponsoring the video. Thank you. Спасибо большое. Muchas gracias. Now let's get back to the video. Ah, the triumphant return of Guess the Elo. The first episode, there's a lot of milestones. I already played my chess tournament. Um, I have a gold button. I've lost like three, four pounds since the last time that I recorded. All right, we begin with random nerd playing d4. It's a great move. I love that move. Knight f6, c4, e6. What opening is this, chat? Nimso Indian. All right, bishop to g5. This is known as the Leningrad variation. This is when you pin the knight, and white responds by counterpinning the knight. Black plays c5, dc5. So far, very high understanding. Uh, bishop c3 is a great move, because now you triple your opponent's pawns, which, which just looks stupid. Just, just looks stupid. And now a very common way to go here is to play with queen out so that you get unpinned. Nice. Take it with the pawn. And I think e5 here because otherwise you get taken. If you play knight c6, then they do this. Okay. Um, and now you don't take on c5, but rather play knight a6, knight c5. Okay, so officially we have graduated from the opening. Um, this might be the difference between like a 1300 and an 1800 and 1800 here unquestionably either does this or takes this This is just not a good move because the knight does not Do anything. However, it's really hard to play with tripled pawns. So let's see what white does. Okay Okay, d6, right? Well, that's not a bad move. I think actually the best move is to go king e7. Let's see if black does it Hmm danger levels Wow Okay, oh Ah, oh, that's a spicy move, f5. There's a lot of good moves here. I mean, bishop e6 is good, rook g8 is good. I like I like bishop g4. Bishop g4 to take the knight and then castle long. I like this a lot. This is not terrible. I would take that and play f5. See, I, I would play f5 again. I, I would play this. Might not be the best move, but if takes, takes. I like this for black. Uh, computer doesn't because rook d1, king e... Oh, king e7 and then you get in. Uh-oh. That's very dangerous. Okay, never mind. I don't like this. Computer proved me wrong. Ha 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 Bishop e6 is a fantastic move. Now, I would probably take in castle. Takes, takes, bring the knight back. Rook c8. Of course, you have to go for the weakness. Or that. That's not a bad move. Uh, I would not let them take that pawn. That looks a little bit too dangerous. Okay. Okay, so white just doesn't see that. H7 is hanging. Uh-oh. Wait, but do you have this? Guarding and threatening mate? Oh my god, black finds that. Oh my god. Check? Or does E4 also win? Because... Okay, they play the worst move. What, what, what does that even do? Are you trying to go here and hang your rook in one move? Who are you? Me? Ah, oh, and your queen. Oh no, your queen. But actually your queen. 
Okay, still, this is really complicated. Okay, well, not if... Yeah, that's a terrible move. Now, now, what? But see, now, now, black is gonna bring the knight. Oh my, this is terrifying. <gasps> Are you mated? Did you? Oh no, dude, you should have gone here. You thought this was mate? No, because yeah, you just can't get locked away like this. Now you're just paralyzed. Okay, that's not a good move. That's also not a good move. I think white is gonna get mated. That's my pred my prediction is a hundred percent white gets checkmated. Oh, the knight. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well, now white's never getting mated. I mean, obviously white can't get mated. Okay. White is... There's no chance... It was so close. What's up, Chipotle Sensei? Oh, God. How did white get mated? White just... White just got mated. That was the only way white could get mated. The queen can't check the king. Guys, when you have an extra queen versus two rooks or just queen period, it needs to be doing stuff. It can't be just stuck behind every piece. Oh man, this was such a complex game. No, there's, this is obviously quadruple digits. I think like 1400 actually. I think like 13, 1400. It's a pretty high level game. Mmm... Couple of pretty bad inaccuracies, like, like this is a terrible move. I mean, you should be able to see Rook G1. Makes me think like 13, 1400. That's my guess. Um, if this is, let's put it this way. If this is above 14, if this is above like 14, 1500, I will be very upset. Um, if this is below that, I'll be, I'll be, that's very good. Like these guys played very well. Um, you think no shot this is below 1600? But they blundered a queen. But then they played well, I guess. Let's see. How high level do you have to be to spot... You know, like, not, this wasn't so complex. How high level do you have to be to spot check? Uh, do you really have to be that high level to find king h5? You really have to be that high level to find this move because this is the only threat and there's no check. I'm gonna say 1400. That's my guess. 14 to 1500. Here we go. They were 2000? No. They were 2,000? They, like, they didn't... But they didn't know the opening. And then... Okay, like, this was good, but then not... Why, why, what, what... If any 2,000 just goes here, man. I mean, you need the active rook. This is such a powerful rook, you just didn't do that. And then... Okay, queen g4 is good, but here, like, not playing e4 is terrible. Because he, your only calculation here is this. Just e4 just wins on the spot. You don't even need to... I guess the... I, no, h3 you just take. e4 is just completely winning. What is this move? No, I mean, you lose so much... Oh my god, rook, yeah, rook g1 is... Oh boy. Wow. Alright, uh, I'm a little bit rusty from, I guess, the elo, huh? Wow, that was... That was not a great game of 2k. If rook b7, rook c3? So what? Guys, you can't be... Tell okay. I like how black played at 91. I'm sorry, Precision. I... You lost your queen there, buddy. That was, uh... How did you get 91% but you hung a queen? Damn. Nobody gets neck for that. Stop saying neck. It's like the only word you guys know now. That was... That was no good. Yeah, that game should give anybody hope, man. Alright, E4, E5. Who has my E4 course? The symmetrical variation. Queen G... Yes! Queen F6. Yes. Knight D5. Yes. Oh no, my pawn. G6. And now, folks, what's the best move? What's the best move here? I think... I think... Uh, I think you, you can go here and take the rook, but I, I mean, Knight H3 is also very strong. Are they both good? 
Oh, oh, right. If you do this now, then they can play d5. Right. Right, right, right. So, you, yeah, you actually, you do have to play this one, which traps the queen. Good. You know, I actually forgot what you play here because no one lets me do this. I'm very sad. At my level, no one lets me do this. It made me forget the line. Knight h3 and d3 and the queen is trapped. And then some people here are like, the queen's not trapped because of this and it goes away. I'm like, yeah, but this is completely lost for black. D6? Wait. Dude. Dude, your queen, dude. You gotta move your queen. And then the line goes here, here, and you can play rook f1. And the queen can't go here anymore. No! Oh, 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 oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Mm. Oh no, this is why you have to study your courses. Oh, this major just took both rooks and now they're losing. It's actually funny, taking the other rook is bad. You have to go here. And then if here, you have to give this check. And then if like here, for example, you, ha you have to defend this pawn by taking this knight. Whereas the way you do it now, I think you're mated. Like knight g5, knight f7. Or bishop f7 and then... Oh, it's bishop f7 threatening knight e6, king c8, and mate. Uh-oh. Back to zero. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. People on YouTube, like, because I have a bigger audience there, some of them are religious, and then I get this angry comment, like, you shouldn't use God's name in vain. I'm like, have you met God? Did God say that? Relax. It's just a, just an expression. You know, it's a, you know, it's just an expression. That's all it is. Relax. You meet God and God tells you that I shouldn't do it. Pass that on to me. Takes, takes, yes. Oh. Oh. Maybe God likes the attention. What if, what if God enjoys when you say, oh, Jesus? God's like, hey. Although God and Jesus aren't like really the same thing. You know, it's, it's, I had a bar mitzvah. I had to learn the Torah passage. I'm not too religious, you know. I, I fully believe in the fact that Anybody can be a part of any religion they'd like as long as they don't get intrusive into other people's ways of life. That's the way I live my life. All right. Um, that was one of the most insane games ever. So that was a Vienna line gone right, gone wrong, gone right again, gone wrong again, gone right again, gone wrong again. I mean, it seems like this was probably a game about a thousand tops. No. Mm. Okay, so first of all, you have my course, you memorize up until here, you get this far, then you forget about this. So, white going here and forgetting about this, what do we think? Like, 1,000 a, a to 1,100, I'm thinking? I feel like if you're like, you know, 1,200, you're like, oh, my queen's hanging, gotta move my queen. But then you might have thought danger levels, but then you're like, oh, damn, danger levels didn't work out. Knight e7. Queen f6 is a really bad move. Like, this is, this is the thing. Not being... Sur oh, but then you went danger levels again. Oh. This is like a 12, 1300 who could have went danger levels again and then got danger levels themselves. Oh, this whole game is just one gigantic danger level. Hmm. Yeah, and then not, not, I mean, bishop f7 is a very hard move to play. Spotting check on queen c7. And then, like, going here. But here's the thing. Why would you go knight e6? Well, I guess you, you went here because you thought this was mate. It's just not mate at all. I'm going to say, like, 1,200. Like, 1,200... 12, 12.30. Is that my guess? 12.30? Is that my guess? They did set up a nice thing here with bishop e7. Yeah. 1200. 1200 is my guess. Let's see. Oh! Oh! 
That's like my best guess ever. 1229 versus 1222. Oh, undefeated, undisputed champion of Guess the Elo. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in the right. One point, one point away. Damn, dude. All right, I win. I win. Anybody who does the ELO is right, I'm the champion. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh my goodness. Wow. How come a 1200 is so bad at danger levels? It's not that they're bad at danger levels, it's that people are really bad at spotting danger levels on themselves. We're really good at finding stuff for ourselves, but onto ourselves is different. Like for our opponent, it's a lot harder. So. Um, no, that was that was fair. That was a that was a good fight between two 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 drunken twelve hundreds. All right, game number three. Here we go. Um, I'm the OJ Simpson of Elo guessing. Yeah, listen, you could have went a lot of places with references. Yeah, for that one, someone needs to you know take the belt off. You know what I mean? I think I think yeah, you got to get beaten up a little bit for that one. Sorry, bud. All right, C five, knight f three. Uh, okay, bishop g four. Good move. Nice, this is the perfect... So now black should just play e6 and take everything and de destabilize the center. That's the way this works. Beautiful, e6. Ay, 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 ay. Dude, just be patient. You gotta, gotta hit him with a, with a nice little e6. Look, black is already better because the bishops are so poorly positioned here. And now you'll play queen c7, knight g7, knight here, knight, here, knight, knight, knight to f5 and just win the stuff in the center. But because you rush, now white can play this really strong move c4 in a lot of positions. And c4 complements where the bishop is standing. Of course, they just give you this check for absolutely no reason. And rookie won, which does nothing. And now black is much better. See, white never played the central pawn break. Okay, so this makes me think like 1,000 to 1,100. Now black is completely winning. Yeah. Okay. Nice move to go after the pawn. Nice move. This was a fantastic... Okay, now, by the time you play c4, it's a free pawn and gives your opponent a pass pawn. Push it. I would just... I would just take. I would just sack, but... Oh, nice! It's a really bad move, but good, good thing you did it. Yeah, uh, uh, too slow, man. Too slow, too slow, too slow. Queen c7. Also, team up with your bishop. But I like this. No back rank mate. No back rank mate. I love this. Oh! Black played, Black wanted to do this, but realized that there was back rank mate. So Black set that up by playing h6 and then did this. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, damn. The prophylaxis. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And now, yes, yeah. Oh, oh, I've been rolling on the. Fr Where are you? I just started giving you credit, and your bum ass went here instead of king f5. Any normal human being plays king to f5 and wins the pawn. What is that? Where are you going? Oh, of, of course your opponent just lets you walk into g4. This is the worst spot to be in, by the way, when you're up pawns in a rook endgame, because all you do is just back up, or to c8. Rook can't move, because you're just going to push. So, yeah, and now... Okay. How little this move make, uh, how little sense this move makes, I cannot like stress enough. Like you brought your king to win the pawn. You have two options: push your pass pawn or win the pawn. You do neither. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Cut the king off. Cut the king off. Okay. You just really want two queens. See, this is where it gets tricky because now you're you never see if you had cut the king off like here, laterally, it's a lot easier because now you just ladder mate. But sometimes if you let the king hide behind your pawns, like you don't win, but here, okay, you don't see mate in one. You have a couple of mate, mate in ones here. This one, actually both because the pawn, right? So, okay, nice. Oh, you made, okay, I thought you were gonna make three queens. Okay, this was a fantastic Karl Khan game. Uh, you did a couple of things that I had to be dramatic and stupid about, but this was a perfect Karo game. This is the sure sign of a person that has the Karl Khan course, was never in any danger of losing this game, and was already better by move 10-15, and this is why you get openings courses to get games like this. I don't think 1500, I think white played atrocious chess. So if black is 1500 and white is 1500, I'm sorry to black, but I think white played so poorly 
who who do I go off? Do I go how how, how well black played or do I go off of um do I go off of how poorly white played? Hmm. No, I mean, I hope they're around the same level. No, I think this is like 1200 max. I, I, I mean, I'm... But Black played... Black did play very well. Now, I want to say like 1000 to 1100 is probably my guess. Um, but let's see. Okay, so... White played pretty normally. Nothing insane. I mean, this capture... I don't hate it, but... Yeah, this this is such a random check. Say like a, I mean, I think like eleven hundred, like very low eleven hundred or high one thousand. But white, you know, the thing is, white didn't do anything really. Uh, that was actually this is a really bad blunder. Yeah, eleven eleven hundred fifty is the ceiling, and I think like ten seventy to eleven thirty is far more likely. Here we go. I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. I just can't be stopped. White is a little bit on the low side, 1030, but black is 1098. I mean, I'm on, I mean, I mean, come on, come on. I mean, come on, folks. I mean, this is why you watch. This is why you watch, right? Right here. Why do people watch? Because they want to see the go in action. That's why they watch. Why are people so mad? It's Phoenix versus Milwaukee in the playoffs because they're trying to watch the goats. That's why they watch. Okay, well, that, listen. That first match, it was two 2000s who played some of the dumbest chess ever. That's not my fault. Sometimes, sometimes the GOAT is not in a position to win. Sometimes Kevin, you know, Kevin Durant has got no help. Game seven, Bucks. He did go over six in overtime. That's another story. You know what I'm saying? But another story. Game number four. E4. Kaimzi says... You mean Hikaru? He isn't live now? Oh, because I said that's why you watch the GOAT? Himesy, you were banned from my chat once, sir. And now you, you beg for forgiveness to return. Now you're saying someone else is the GOAT? This is very, very poor PR skills, my friend. Very poor. But you are safe. Because I literally don't care. C5, D4, Smith Mora! Oh. Oh. That's not a good move. White is just much better after d5. Knight f3. Okay, now we have a transposition to an open Sicilian. Okay, so this is an example of two people who have no idea how to play the Sicilian, unless they're trying to play the open Franco-Sicilian variation. This is why nobody should play the Sicilian defense below a certain level or if they don't have any prep. Um, because you guys just don't know how to play it. And now white plays d5, and it's already probably plus 1.5. It's plus 2! D5 is already... What are you doing? Just bishop... Now you have a hanging knight and queen. And now you... You know, this is what I don't understand. Like, I don't know who this random noob is, but they probably are like, Well, Magnus plays the Sicilian, so I would like to play it as well. I don't believe in all these gambits that Rosen and Gotham provide for their audience. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's not a good way to learn the game. So I'm going to play this... Sicilian defense and be dead lost on move four because uh, you know, I went through like six different accents there By the way, there is one tricky thing. You can't take this yet. You have to like not hang your rook uh Oh, is white gonna give away the oh now you can take that with check the bishop can be taken with check Okay, oh, oh Look at how desperately white wanted to block the rook. That's so funny. That's actually incredibly creative Don't take the knight if this knight ever moves, there's going to be a check and you're going to win the queen. I really hope that happens. Okay, en passant. Of course. Of course. You should have taken with... Okay. Okay, actually, it's not so... Oh, my God. Look how savage. Bishop takes d5. If you take my queen, I take with check and then I win your queen. Oh! <gasps> it's almost there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice, good move. Take the rook. Nice. Yes. Okay, after this game, black needs to like... Oh my god. I like how the whole game was decided by this bishop maneuver. 
I'm not gonna lie, I don't think these two are very high rated, but this was one of the most genius bishop maneuvers to block a pin I've ever seen. Like, you, sometimes you have games, you ever have those games where you feel like you sprouted your wings, and you're like, wow, like, I, like, really, I, like, really evolved this game, like, I gained, like, a hundred points of, like, you know, you have those games? Bishop c4, bishop a2 was really nice, and this whole game was just the, I think white played this game, maybe, like, hmm... There's gonna be some inaccuracies, but I think white played like 90%, so it happens when you're high. I see. Wow. This was a really nice game. I mean, black played so bad. Wow, black played so bad. If white is not many hundreds of points higher rated than black, I will be shocked. I actually think that this is like a game between... Hmm. Hmm. See, last game I had to base it on how poorly white played. This game I want to play... Uh, Think about how well white played, but yeah, black played so bad. I think it's like high 800 to like mid 900, like 880 to 950. Because white actually did play quite well. I think white is the higher rated player by like 60, 70 points. That's what I'm going to say. If this game is, if, if black is a thousand, black needs help. Like not chess help, black needs therapy of some sort. So here we go. Let's, let's go see. Wow. Black is 1,200, and white is the lower-rated player? That is insane. Black, see, white did play well enough to get credit for being 1,100, so please don't feel insulted. Wow, black is 1,192? Black is 1,192? What is the time control? It's a 30-minute game? 30 minute game? And you played Queen A5? I can't help everybody. Listen, I'm soon gonna have the biggest chess channel on YouTube. Folks, a lot of people like my content. I got a lot of really good content for beginners and intermediate players and early advanced players as well. They just gotta work a little bit harder to find it. Folks, I can't, I can't help everybody, you know what I mean? You, you can't save everybody. It's also one of my struggles when I donate to charities. I want to help as many people as possible who need it the most. Can't help everybody. You got to make, you got to pick and choose. But, um, wow. I was saying something about being the goat. I, I was. In games where people show up and play their, you know, their best chess, I can give you a good estimate. That was terrible. That was, that was one of, that was an abomination. That was like Ben Simmons. I mean, that, 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 that guy played Ben Simmons equivalent chess in the opening. I don't even want to look at the accuracy. I, I don't even want to look at the accuracy. Let's just finish the show. E4, E6, D4. Uh. Okay. Yeah, but now black, now black is playing white. Now black is playing white. Now black has a piece out before white has a piece out. That's not supposed to... That's not how it works. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, black, you know, white gets a bishop out now, but black obviously should move another piece out. But okay. Good. What is that? Who taught these people how to play chess? Move the knight to the damn middle! Okay. Alright, I don't hate it. What- what is that? What is that move? What is that? Why knight d5? Just go trap the bishop. Yo, does black have like some genius idea here? Like knight d5 and black is like, well if I get taken, then I take back. You know, is that the idea? I don't know what the idea is. Um, okay. Okay. No oh, that was the idea. Oh, that's pretty genius. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Exactly. Yes. All right, let's, let's get all those pieces. Oh, come on. Why not out in the open where you have space and breathing room? Okay, that's a terrible move by white. Took for no reason. Everything white is doing is like a one move move, you know? Like, I take horse, I attack bishop, I trade pawn. Oh man, this is really bad. Actually, it's a position where you almost wish you didn't have this pawn. Because then you would have this. Now white needs to put a knight on d4. Beautiful. Okay, now that, of course, white takes the bishop on first glance. Hey. This dude really didn't want to lose this pawn. Okay, it's tough. Oh, that's not a good move. Uh-oh. 
Nice. Oh! Nice. All right, bring the rook back. Yes, gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, beautiful. Oh, queen trade. Oh, push pawn. Oh, win all the pawns. Oh, 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 God. That was... Damn. Oh, that was good. That was good. Learn some openings, you donut! No! No, it's cooked beautifully. Position for black was played beautifully. Oh my goodness. Nice game by black. Um, small things, very small things. Like, little, little things. But obviously, black actually played quite well, and... The whole, like, every final move I would have played. So now, folks, we need a, we need a number. Um, two games in a row... Two games in a row that we just have some stupid stuff going on. Where our, uh, our sub played quite well, and the opponent played really terribly. So what do we do for this game? 1800? If white is 1800, I'll never stream chess again. In fact, if white is above 1500, I will never stream chess again. So... No, I mean, obviously, white didn't, like, know how to play openings at all. Um, I, I can see white being, like, 1100, like, ceiling. Very, very, very basic play here by white. Like, a lot of one-move plans. Knight h4 kind of has some credit, because you're trying to go here. Basically, black plays f6 and stops you from moving your knight forward. So you play knight h4, knight h5. You're like, well, if I can't go that way, I'm going to go that way. And then you lose your, you lose your knight. Literally, that's the logic. You're like, oh, you're stopping me from going this way. Well, hey, hey, I'm going to go this way. And then, hey, hey, you lose a knight. So, uh, um, hmm. Let's say, like, hmm. Feel, I'm, feel, I'm getting some strong 1100 vibes. Getting some strong uh, 1100 vibes in this game. And some strong 1100 vibes. That's what I'm going to say. Somewhere in the 1100s. Maybe a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Let's see. 900? See, Black played great. Black played really well this game. Like, Black played really well. Uh, again, see? This, so it's the reverse of the last game. I gave Black credit, but it was actually White being like 11. Eh. So, not, not a bad episode, honestly. Subs, y'all showed up to play, man. Y'all showed up to play. Like, y'all, y'all for 93%. God damn. You know, I went to a school where 90, uh, getting a 90 to 92.9 was an A minus. And sometimes at the end of the semester, if you had A minus versus A, they wouldn't round this up to an A. I used to hate teachers for that. I'd be like, bro, I got a 92.89 in your class. You can't give me an A. Rookie four is a mistake. What? How was that a mistake? Oh my god. Thank you, Casey. Oh, that's... I didn't even see that. Look what you can play here. Yeah, this is why the computer is such a... Such a... Such an... A, 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 Anyway, that was that was a fun episode. Very good stuff today. And um I hate the computer. What can you say? Guess the Elo is back, baby.